The colonization of space refers to the idea of establishing permanent human settlements beyond Earth, in locations such as the Moon, Mars, asteroids, and other planets and moons within our solar system and beyond. The concept of space colonization has been discussed for decades and has gained renewed interest in recent years, with several countries and private companies actively pursuing space exploration and potential colonization. One of the key motivations behind space colonization is to ensure the long-term survival of the human species by creating self-sustaining and eventually thriving communities beyond Earth. Additionally, space colonization could offer new opportunities for scientific discovery and technological advancement. However, there are also significant challenges associated with space colonization. These include the harsh environments in space, the need for advanced technologies and infrastructure, and the high cost and risks associated with space travel. Despite the challenges, there are several initiatives aimed at exploring and colonizing space. For example, NASA's Artemis program aims to establish a sustainable human presence on the Moon by the end of the decade, while SpaceX and Blue Origin are developing technologies for human missions to Mars. There are also private companies that are investing in developing space habitats and technologies for space colonization, such as the space tourism company Virgin Galactic and the space habitat developer Bigelow Aerospace. While the colonization of space remains a challenging and speculative topic, it could offer new opportunities for human exploration and advancement in the future. The colonization of Mars is a topic of ongoing discussion and research in the scientific community and beyond. The idea of colonizing Mars involves establishing a permanent human presence on the planet, with the goal of creating a self-sustaining and eventually thriving community. There are several challenges associated with colonizing Mars, including the harsh environment, extreme temperatures, lack of breathable air and water, and radiation exposure. However, proponents of Mars colonization believe that with the right technology and infrastructure, these challenges can be overcome. In recent years, there have been several initiatives aimed at exploring Mars and laying the groundwork for future colonization efforts. For example, NASA's Mars Perseverance rover is currently exploring the Jezero crater on Mars, collecting data and samples that could provide insight into the planet's geology, climate, and potential for sustaining life. There are also private companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin that are investing in developing technologies for Mars colonization and even planning for human missions to Mars in the coming years. While the colonization of Mars is still in the early stages of development, many people see it as a promising avenue for exploring and understanding the universe, as well as a potential solution for future human habitation beyond Earth. However, it is important to note that the technical and logistical challenges of colonizing Mars are significant and there are still many unknowns about the feasibility and sustainability of such an endeavor. The colonization of the Moon refers to the idea of establishing a permanent human presence on the Moon, with the goal of creating a self-sustaining and eventually thriving community. This idea has been discussed for decades and has gained renewed interest in recent years, with several countries and private companies actively pursuing lunar exploration and potential colonization. One of the key advantages of the Moon as a potential location for colonization is its proximity to Earth, which would make it easier and more cost-effective to transport people and resources. Additionally, the Moon has abundant resources such as water ice, which could be used for drinking, growing crops, and producing rocket fuel. There are also several challenges associated with colonizing the Moon, including the harsh environment, extreme temperatures, lack of breathable air, and high levels of radiation exposure. However, proponents of lunar colonization believe that with the right technology and infrastructure, these challenges can be overcome. Several countries and private companies have already initiated plans for lunar exploration and potential colonization. For example, NASA's Artemis program aims to send astronauts back to the Moon by 2024 and establish a sustainable human presence on the Moon by the end of the decade. Meanwhile, Companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin are investing in developing technologies for lunar exploration and potential colonization. While the colonization of the Moon is still in its early stages, many people see it as a promising avenue for exploring and understanding the universe, as well as a potential solution for future human habitation beyond Earth. However, it is important to note that the technical and logistical challenges of colonizing the Moon are significant and there are still many unknowns about the feasibility and sustainability of such an endeavor. 
The colonization of Jupiter's moons is a concept that has been discussed in the scientific community, but it remains a highly theoretical and speculative topic. Jupiter has over 80 known moons, but the four largest moons, known as the Galilean moons, are the most promising targets for colonization, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. One of the main reasons why the Galilean moons are considered as potential targets for colonization is that they contain large amounts of water ice, which could be used for drinking, growing crops, and producing rocket fuel. In addition, these moons have relatively stable environments, with minimal seismic activity and moderate temperatures compared to other planets and moons in our solar system. However, there are also significant challenges associated with colonizing Jupiter's moons. For example, the distance between Earth and Jupiter is vast, making it difficult and expensive to transport people and resources. The radiation environment around Jupiter is also intense, which could pose significant health risks to humans living on the moons. Furthermore, the harsh environments on the moons themselves, such as extreme cold, high levels of radiation, and the lack of a breathable atmosphere, would make colonization a daunting task, requiring advanced technology and infrastructure. Despite the challenges, some scientists and organizations continue to research and explore the potential for colonization of Jupiter's moons. For example, NASA's Europa Clipper mission is set to explore Jupiter's moon Europa in the 2020s, collecting data and samples that could inform future colonization efforts. Overall, while the colonization of Jupiter's moons remains a highly speculative and challenging topic, it could offer new opportunities for human exploration and understanding of the universe.